hello all so in this tutorial we'll go through some interior props so let's get started so one previous tutorial we have gone through the lighting part one more tutorial is left out we'll be continuing that after this tutorial so let's get started so let's take a reference over here let's go into rendering view image file go on to the desktop and I have one image over here let's take this reference over here so first let's take a plane over here and let's create a wall after creating a wall let's go into this let's go into the box over here let's draw a box over here select this box just push this box over here let's go into this side view over here now what I can do over here is like I'll just take a line over here take a line that's it rendering enable in viewport and make it rectangular and push this out over here so you can just increase its length and width go to the top view or oh sorry side view you can just push it down over here so once you're done over here again take a line just drag a line over here in this way. so just push this line over here in this so make sure that line is perfectly coinciding this point so you can go into the vertices and you can just push that up over here now select this part again and select this and let's just duplicate this over here and click ok so select this all just push this down so over here first we'll create the top that is your candle part so for that let's take a cylinder over here after taking a cylinder reduce its height segments convert to editable poly go into the edges and chamfer it not much a bit click ok select the polygons and give a bit of bevel just give a bit of bevel click ok now just use a bit of inset click ok 
scale this more more and let's just give a bevel to it and reduce its height or what you can do is just extrude this up push this over here and you can go into this you can just add a swift loop just add a you can just select this and this and if you want you can just scale this and just push this up that's it so after doing this just duplicate it again scale this keep this down over here that's it all right so once you're done we'll be creating this vase over here as you can see this vase it is a bit of a broken vase so let's take a line over here i'll off this so just push this down push this up up make it straighter and there is a modifier called lathe take a lathe modifier go into that make it as max over here vertices select this and push it in this so select this and push this inside this inside push this outside right click refine add a refine and push this inside that's it so if you want to push this more down you can just push this more down and after you're done over here you can just drag this here push it up to the side convert to editable poly so you can just select this half of it and just delete this go into the vertices and make it uneven some will go up and some will be down in this way again go into the modifier and give a shell modifier to give it a bit of thickness so let's give a shell modifier and reduce its thickness over here that's it so once you're done just right click and convert to editable poly that's it so again take a box over here take a box over here for this frame over here and you can just rotate this frame and you can just put this over here that's it all right so can save your file we haven't saved it yet just save your file
so again take a box over here create a box so convert to editable poly resize this go into this and let's give a inset over here give a inset click ok just push this down go into the vertices and just push this up a bit select this and this just push this up right click in and isolate this and you can slowly just push this up over here this is a wall mounting table so now for this what we'll be doing is like we'll be taking a cylinder over here let's take a cylinder so before we start reduce its radius and reduce its height So convert to editable poly fragmented sticks select this bevel it very very less not much just click ok and then scale it and then extrude it up click ok push this up and just rotate this stuff in this way so you can go into this and set as a local or world screen view you can set it accordingly that's it. So save your file over here. So after creating this vase, into this vase, if you want to create this stuff, you can just take a line over here of this. You can just so select this all, enable in render a radial, make it thin. Enable in viewport radial, make it thin. So, best is like just go on attaching it. That's it. So, once you're done. You can just push this inside this over here and keep this in this way. Save your file. So we'll continue the rest of the part in the next tutorial. So thanks for watching this tutorial.